their video games and their classics too. And now they're being given a whole new lease of life to children at Christchurch Hospital. Here's Chelsea Daniels. The Children's Haematology Oncology Centre have received a one-of-a-kind gift. The homemade retro arcade game is made from recycled components and donated by staff from medical physics and bioengineering and clinical engineering. The software and electronics were made by Lawrence Quake. My duration working in the hospital is always with seeing children and stuff and seeing that they're playing with the blocks and stuff. We thought maybe it's something that can keep them keep on going. So we thought, why not build something like a little game arcade to bring them a little bit of um, nostalgia for the parents and for the children themselves to keep on playing and keep on, it can keep the we see the interaction growing. Seven-year-old Deanna has been at the hospital for six months now and with another five months of treatment to go, she'll be in need of a bit of a distraction. There's only so much a kid can do with <laughs> um, the nurses anyway. Um, so I think having a game to play and challenge other kids, it kind of brings them together, you know, um, so that's going to be exciting. The software consists of hundreds of classics 80s and 90s arcade games, games that were made in a simpler time. Having a look around the child oncology, we saw that they have all this uh, PlayStation 4, which we, after checking with the manager, we found that the games are a little bit over for the kids and they don't really borrow the games from the manager. So I thought maybe we go backward in time and try to give them something easier and something that parents can relate to the children to. And DJ agrees. Even saying, oh, we remember those games, it kind of creates that kind of, oh, wow, really? How did you feel when you used to play them? The arcade game setup is portable, which makes it easier to share among the kids, even the ones in isolation. It gives the children something interactive to keep their spirits up. So it'll actually keep, get their focus off and just be able to relax and, um, yeah, chill out. And in young Deanna's case, it seems to be working a treat. She's a kid that loves to have challenges and, and beat them. I mean, she beat cancer, so, you know. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.